I've been waiting for this for ages. I've been, um, let's not talk about. Let's go in a break and see you in a few minutes with uh, Zio Amo Corner with a special guest. Vito, you can stay. Woohoo! And welcome back in studio, guys. I'm so excited finally to see a friend that I haven't seen many years. We were talking about, it was 2006 when we met. And we do something together. But also, I'm so excited because the journey that this gentleman had since I met him to now, it's unbelievable. So let's cut all the talking. Let me introduce you, Mr. Maurice Spaniello, and Arte Maurizio for me, which is representing CEO of the Racing City Group, correct? correct? It's also my boss, my former boss from GIS, General International School of Soccer, and also the CEO of Atem uh, Sports Management, correct? Correct. All good. I didn't take any notice. <laughs> All right, so Maurizio, welcome to Australia. Welcome back to Australia. But there is a particular reason why you're here. Without any wasted time, why are you here in Australia? Break the ice with us. Okay, firstly, my family is here. They've always been here. Uh, I grew up here. I was born here. Um, no, really, the, uh, we've got a project coming. A uh, special guest from Italy, uh, Francesco Totti. Oh. He's coming to Sydney and Melbourne, and we're hosting him at a few events, a uh, few places. Got a few pictures of you with Francesco. Oh, uh, yeah, that was nice, uh, nice. two weeks ago in Saudi Arabia, I think. Nice, nice. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we've got these events for meet and greets and um, you know, showing him Australia and, you know, he's giving back. He's happy to come here. He's one of our ambassadors for our, our company and he's happy to come here and give a bit of his life. There we go. It's, uh, uh, that's it. Ma Mauricio, tell us, first of all, in, here in, uh, in which one is the first date, Melbourne or Sydney? First Sydney, 25, 26 in Sydney, then from 27 to the first in Melbourne. Um, in Sydney, where are uh, you going to have the event? Uh, at the Marconi Club. Marconi Club, beautiful, with the, beautiful. With the Ukino and Morabito footballer camp as well we're going to be doing. Beautiful. And uh, yeah, it's very, it's nice. In Melbourne, we're not going to have enough time to do any camps, but um, I'm sure we're going to get trying to see one game somewhere. We've and uh, where is going to have the event here in Melbourne? In Rochella. Uh, that's one of the main ones. Uh, Bull in Veneto Club also. Historical with Mark Bresciano also on stage. And giving ah, a nice, nice. bit of their history of the World Cup and when they played against each other and also at uh, Esca Grill nice. and Gradi to finish off. Ah, beautiful, beautiful, so, beautiful. That's a big game. Uh, um, tell me a bit about, now we're going to go back to Totti and the event in a minute, but tell about, about a little bit about yourself, you know, the racing group, because I know that you build up and you create a big, a big circle or team around the world. All your connection, you know, the people that you're working with, your collaborator, the teams, because I, I know you, I follow you, I, I can ask you a million things, but for our viewers that don't know much about you. Well, I've played overseas in Italy, Holland, Belgium, Hungary, New York, and I had a discreet career. If all the friends I have now, I don't even talk football, I don't say I played football, because <laughs> they're all Champions League or World Cup winners. Um, yeah, we started an academy here in Melbourne in, when I finished in 2006 with the AS Roma School and uh, from there it just went off from Canada to Australia, America, Europe and we set up a base in Italy and Spain now for the last seven years. So we have over 18,000 students affiliated. Beautiful. And after COVID when everything closed down <laughs> we had to invent something and I, what, what I noticed was um, the, club, uh, the clubs, the only thing that was running was the football clubs. So I thought, you know what, we already had our own small club in, we started in seventh division, now we're in third, uh, Racing Murcia, we started from there and I started uh, creating a fund and uh, from people all over the world and we, we are now 14 football clubs around the world, Mama semi and professional me. clubs, so keeps me busy. Can I take a moment to say hello to one of your uh, coaches, desk collaborator, because if I don't do it, you won't cancel on my friendship with him. I know Dimitri, he bello. <laughs> Miss you. I wish next time you bring him here with you, but I know he's busy running uh, uh, Real Valecano Real in Spain. So, so. But uh, you, it's a relationship it you had for many years. It could be a surprise. It could be a surprise. surprise. No! It I want to pick him up at the airport. You know, you know what? Uh, show you a photo of a couple of uh, 
players they just won one the World Cup another one won like the World Cup final they were wearing your G stop you know I still have the G kit that you give it to me I still have the pile of icon yellow and white with the stands I look after my equipment <laughs> so good that I still I look uh, just a couple of World Cup champions with you huh yeah they were in Korea promoting our academies uh, Fabio Cannavaro and Materazzi I'm also ambassadors of Racing City Group but it's all connected up under the holding of beautiful, the academy beautiful so. beautiful so Maurizio, what's the a uh, lots of viewers? Uh, we, the viewers that we have are lots of Italian second, third, fourth generation English speakers. They're very young. We have a uh, lots of boys at Bulin that follow us from the youth. We have a uh, lots of they all dream to go in Europe, but there seems to be so many so many wrong information. Around. You've been doing this for a while, and I know lots of players that went through your rank that are playing in Europe now. The word pathway for me is wrong because there's not pathway because otherwise we all become football players. It's not like become a doctor or become a pilot. No. There's a pathway. But if you can give a couple of tips, what would be a suggestion that you give to the players to try to make it overseas? Um, I think it's basically to... I always say it, and I always said it from the beginning. If you want to live from football, you have to live for football. And the two hours a day you train or one hour a day is not enough, you know. And two days a week, three days a week, it has to be like a full-time job. Like your parents go to work every day, you're going to do those four or five hours focusing on football. And I think there is talent here. There is opportunities. There are some good coaches and some good academies around. But if, you know, the secret is when you do get overseas, you cut your family life away, your social life. So it, it means like you're going to improve quicker, yeah? And you get be taught the right way, the tactics and the culture. I don't think there's enough culture in this country. And it's not our fault, you know, it, it, this country is only 100 years old. <laughs> but um, I think the, the problem is the mentality of um, if you can't make it here, you can't make it in Europe. But that's not true because in Europe there's over 2,500 professional clubs and semi. Here there's 10... 12 teams professional, you know, exactly. and there's so, only limited spaces for the under 18s, under 16s. So there's, it's limited, right? So uh, I think to have an a real opportunity, I mean, a lot of people sell, you know, dreams. Um, a lot of these companies, these tours, I think they, they're good for experience. But if you can find the right, you know, person to put you in front of people, but you've got to get be prepared here. It's not no use going over there and dreaming. You've got to actually put in the hard work here. And I think hard work does pay off. And I can't agree more with you because, uh, you know, been seeing you when I met you and I saw the place that went through you and the one that made it and they're the one that were putting hard work here. I don't want to say names. Yeah, so of course. Wanna, gotta, wanna, there's wanna, too many of them. Too so. many of them. <laughs> but uh, we all get relationship with a lot of them and I know what they were doing here. They were getting up walk to the school with the soccer ball to their feet. Every single moment they were there juggling against the ball. They never go out. They sacrifice all the fun beat for football. And I, some of them, you took them overseas at the age of 12, 13. Mm -hmm. And they made it. How much, how many sacrifices they have to go and through? Family and family sacrifice. I remember plays a big part. I remember receiving message from one of our boys that went to Benfica, Cluj, uh -huh. you know, we're talking about, you know, yeah. I'm, I love him. And he used to cry on the message. They, you know, I'm here by myself. You know, so, hey, you can do it. You know, it's, it's hard. It's not easy. But look at that. You, 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 you know, you meet all these strangest people in your life, huh? Well, all these unknown people. Now, tell me, tell me some. Um, can you share with us some funny happening or some something really funny that one of the superstars that you met that you you know surprised you? Is there anything? No, th there's not much surprising, <laughs> funny no, moments. Oh, no, there's, there's more stressful moments than funny moments because, you know, you organize some events sometimes and yeah. they miss their planes or because they went out or there's a lot of... Uh, no, it is fun. I enjoy it. I love it. And I just, you know, people think, oh, you're always with, you know, the world, you know, people from Brazil, Argentina, Italy, you're always with them. Uh, it's just become a natural thing for me. And they're just people just like us. And the most humble, like the, the bigger they are, the, the more popular they are, the more humble they are. Oh, wow. So that's a secret. Like humbleness is everything. If I have to, you know, I'm here, you know, development is my game. Yes, right? yeah, another, another two average player, as you say. Yeah. Well, Capitano. Well, two Capitanos. And Maldini, yeah. they're Capitano as well. Mamma you know, mia, mamma mia. But Listen, I, you, with that answer, you just bring me to the next point. Well, let's go back to the Totti coming here because I know you got more planned. It's going to be more special guests coming.
let's go more into the tile and let's explain to people because I have to be honest, I I spoke to people, people sometimes, you know, all they see the price of the tickets. They don't know what's moved behind uh, the, you know, the plane, the hotel, the movement, you know, these people, when they move, they, it's not like getting at your house and putting on a fly no. and inviting him over. Uh, so there's an entourage behind every every star, especially if he's won a World Cup and he's in, like, example, Francesco Totti or Baggio or whoever or Maldini himself. So I had to find a good partner here, Angelo Venditti. I had to mention his name because he's been a big part. He's actually come for the last seven or eight months to Korea, to Europe, to South America you know, to Dubai to meet these people and make him understand the importance of what it is to bring out a legend. It's not about money, it's about giving back to the community or the Italian community or football community in general. And he's a big football fan as well. So I think um, we've good, made a good partnership. He's also part of Racing City Group now, Australasia. And the support we're getting also from Ross Peligra in the development and stuff. So we, we actually, you know, there's a big, a big movement behind this. Thank you for explaining that because a lot of our viewers don't get it. You know, when uh, when we talk about tours or we talk about special guests coming here, like a few months ago we had Lou talking about the Derby Roma Milan playing in Perth, and I got people complain about the price of the ticket, complain about that. I said, guys, you know how much cost bringing two full squad here from overseas, and same when you bring a World Cup. Okay. So, on behalf of all of us, thank you very much. Good First pleasure. of all, to coming here. Second to put this hard work and try to help the Italian community to uh, see some light because we get bombarded by all these other uh, sports and other clubs from all around the Europe. We really miss this link with Italy. So thank you very much for doing that. Uh, if you guys have been watching us till now, remember to share, like and subscribe. This part of the show will be also available on YouTube. I would like to thank all the viewers. I would like to thank all the subscribers of our channel. And I would like to thank all the listeners. If you're listening right now on the radio, thank you very much for tuning in. Now, from next week, this is a little private message if you guys allow me. From next week, you're going to have a Vito running the show on his own. I'll be in Italy for two weeks. But I will send him a video. Hopefully, Gabriele will be limoncello free. He'll be able to do some, uh, some work uh, with the material that I will send. And so until I'm back, guys, thank you very much. Share the love from Giamo, from Vito, and from the Grazie Maurizio. Grazie. Maurice, see you again.